Welcome back everybody to another episode of Madras Arsenal. Today we're going to talk about how to scrim your helmet. Um, this has also been called the Manchu hair, uh, or Mancharian hair, um, but uh, I call it the scrim. And it's actually quite easy to do, so let's take a closer look and um, see how you do this camouflage pattern, which is made famous by mostly European units. Uh, you see it a lot over in Europe. and. Um, I think it's got a pretty good application, um, you know, pretty much anywhere else. So let's take a look and see how you do it. Okay, so what I did is, if you can tell, this is um, just strips of old uniforms that I had. Um, I'm using the UCP, uh, I mean, uh, the OCP uh, pattern, uh, which is what is currently issued. And I just tied them. See, these helmet covers, they have this nice little area uh, for camouflaging these holes that are already pre-made and what I actually did is I got some elastic band I don't know if you can see it right here but I ran it in a crisscrossed pattern around the helmet and that allowed me to attach much more uh, material to the helmet and kind of gives it a disrupted look right because that's what you're trying to do you're trying to disrupt the look of your AC, or your, actually this is a, uh, yeah, this is an ACH. And um, you can see here the elastic band. And like I said, I just crisscrossed it through the pre-made holes. And then I was able to tie, um, not anything special, no special knots, just a very simple knot. Um, this is over time going to get frayed and have a weathered look. And it's gonna look a lot more natural, a lot more faded. And you can also put vegetation in there as well, um, you know, to, to help blend into whatever environment that you're working in. Another interesting or nice little feature of it is it does not uh, interrupt with your NVG mount at all. Um, you can obviously work around it. And if you notice, I have rails on the side of mine and, uh, you know, no interference on that, but it also, does a great job at covering that up and helping, like I said, disrupt the pattern of the round helmet shape. So overall, I think it's pretty good. It's a very, you know, it's just make sure that you have a clear line of sight down here, which, which I do. And um, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic camouflage method that really doesn't require a whole lot of resources and you can take, like I said, old uniforms, burlap, cloth, rags, things like that, and attach them to your helmet. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I did not mean for this to drop, but uh, this segues into my second part of, in the next video, I will be telling you how, or teaching you, how to properly camouflage a trail camera. This one was not done correctly, and um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And this is sort of how I give back to my members. So spread the word. If you guys want to see how to camouflage stuff, definitely stay tuned because I've got several more videos coming out. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.